Hey guys, this is Bear Gaming and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we are going to discuss about Emma for our Hero Spotlight. And the update just finished, I think, an hour ago. So over here, in the Hero Recruit button, you can see this banner, Choice Fate Core Re, for the blue Fate Core banner. So I'm still having second thoughts or I'm still thinking which hero I'm going to get because I currently have three heroes in mind. So the first one is Blue Fate Correra. Uh, I think I want to get her because if you happen to have her, she will give buffs to Chaos type hero, any Chaos type hero, whichever nation they fall under. But as long as they are a Chaos type hero, she's going to give buffs to them. So the second hero which I kind of want to get is also Blue Faker Aiden or Beat Shooter Aiden because if you have him, he's going to give buffs to characters from Greenland Nation. And since I'm using Battery and some other characters under that nation, I also want to make them stronger. And the other one is this one. Guardian of the East Garf or Blue Fate Core Garf because if you're going to have her, she's going to give buffs for the characters under Brune Nation. And since I'm using Brune, therefore I want to make them stronger also. But I don't know, maybe I should go for Guardian of the Mind's Eye Rera because, well, you know, since there are a lot of Chaos type heroes, I'm pretty sure they are going to benefit from the boost she's going to give. But, well, I'm still thinking. So, well, doing that, first we are going to check out the journals button. And then heroes. And then we are going to look for Emma. I won't stop okay. until I complete so, my So, this revenge. is Emma. First, we are going to check out her skill set. The passive is Daydream, cleanses the buff from one ally at the start of round. The first skill is Touch, uh, touch of Dusk, deals 150% damage to one enemy and 50% chance to decrease attack of target by 18% for 6 turns. So this is just single target. And the second skill is Soul Capture, deals 375% damage to one enemy and 80% chance to decrease heat of target by 45% for 9 turns. So definitely, she is a single target hero. And we are going to check out her further. So you can see, this is Emma. You know, if you happen to watch the movie La Llorona, she's really giving me that kind of vibe and if you happen to be Filipino I'm pretty sure you heard the those folklore characters the white lady black lady and the red lady so definitely she's she looks like a black lady you know and for her appearance effect don't you see my hatred Second Queen of St. West, Emma. And you can see there's this lamp-like thing she's holding. This is actually her weapon or exclusive weapon. And these are like skulls. For the illustration, you can see here. She kind of looks like a bride, right? But it seems that, I don't know, maybe this is some kind of a veil. Now this is the default mode and this is the battle mode. She's really floating, really creepy, right? And of course, I'm pretty sure you know that she is dead in this fated version. That's why she looks like this. Now for the skill preview. That's the basic attack or normal attack. For the first skill, Feel the touch. Dead. <laughs> you can see some spirits just came out from the ground. Well, actually, it came from the lantern and then it went to the ground. For the second skill, Souls are so feeble and defenseless.
So based from the name Soul Capture, they just capture the soul of the enemy. It's quite creepy and I really like it. Now for the hero story, Enchanter Emma, sexist female, nation is Saint West, hero tier, fated or fated great hero, element is darkness, she's 38 years old, race is undead, so therefore that's why she has this zombie-like appearance, and position is support or support type hero, birthday is on September 21st. The second queen of Saint West, Baelish rescued Emma. When she was a newborn baby who floated down the river in a basket, Emma was told that she would be a Bella when she grew up because of her eminent beauty. Baelish provided a great environment for Emma and as expected, Emma grew up to be a classy and beautiful lady. Emma's beauty stole the hearts of countless suitors who came to her but Emma loved Baelish. So, did not even lay her eyes on them. However, Baelish gave Emma's hand in marriage to King John or King John Dong for his ambition. Emma did not give up and invited Baelish to court and continued to meet him even after she became queen. King John, who wasn't aware of, the, of what Emma was doing, loved the young and beautiful Emma and the love continued on to her son, Rachel. So guys, Emma is Rachel's mother. King John's favoritism caused first Queen Kerry to grow jealous and Emma was the first to be killed when Kerry started the rebellion. Emma's life should have ended there but Baelish knocked Emma's body out and hired a necromancer to bring her back from the dead. The newly revived Emma lost most of her emotions when she came to life and is only moved by her hatred towards Kerry. Her killer. Oh, that's a very interesting background story, and it's good thing that we are doing hero story, uh, hero spotlight, because we get to know more about the heroes. And I think this is my first time reading this story or background story of Emma. That's why I'm very amazed. No wonder. So Baelish bring her back to the dead, or well, technically she went and looked for a necromancer who revived Emma but she's no longer human so that's why you can hear her say when she, whenever she casts her skills her lines usually are kind of hatred so it was scary okay we are going to check out her fate core and I think she has one fate core only or probably two and if you can see here forgotten memory or the past fate core she's one of this uh, she's one of the characters under the fate core team I mean and you can see here Emma she's pretty much alive over here second west ah second west <laughs> I was supposed to say second queen of saint west but it's actually saint west second queen Emma Emma shortly after her after she married <laughs> What's happening to my eyes? Anyway, Emma shortly after she married King John Dong of St. West and appointed as the second queen. King John Dong proposed to Emma as he fell in love with her at first sight. Emma is not an aristocrat due to her innate elegance and Baelish endless investment on her education. She exudes noble-like dignity and appears lively. Oh, so this is all Baelish is doing. Emma became really elegant and queenly so for the passive you can see old wounds this is actually the forgotten memories fate core team or past fate core team special passive deals extra damage equal to 30 percent of own current health when attacking an enemy one time per round and for the first and second skill it's just the same now we are going to check her out further you can see she has this uh, gown and her weapon is still the skulls clumped together with a snake as the handle. She really looks like a queen here, right? Really elegant. Even her hair, the big ribbon, and the big dress. Now, for the appearance effect, you can see a more... Honor to the brave warriors. Saint West second queen so i was saying you can see that the appearance effect has this more light 
effects compared to the faded version which is really dark then here's the illustration and this is the default mode then the battle mode it's pretty much the same and then when it comes to the exclusive equipment you can see that she is holding a lantern this time so we are going to check this out oriental lantern Emma's exclusive equipment, an Eastern Lantern that Baelish got by spending a lot of money to gift Emma. Its mysterious glyphs capture hearts of those who look at this weapon. So this costs 20,000 cess, and if you have this, Emma's attack will be increased by 30 and combat power by 10,000. It really looks nice, right? Lantern. So we're just going to equip this one, and then let's check the skill preview. This is the first skill or basic, I mean, <laughs> not first skill but basic attack or normal attack. And you can see, there's this light emitted from the lantern. This is the first skill. Get away from me. So a lot of light effects and we cannot see any bad spirits. <laughs> Only light effects. And then for the second skill. No more. I won't let you get in my way. Wow, that's really nice. So there are still hands and the soul is still captured. But the hands are of the light element instead of the dark element. So aside from this one, oh wait. Before I forget, since this is uh, this particular fate card is under the past or forgotten memory fate card theme, you have gold fate core Rodley and gold fate core Battery. So if you happen to put Emma with Rodley, she will be able to get this passive Easy Life increases max health of allies equipped with past theme fate core by five percent. And you can see over here, Emma is one of the characters under this Faker team. So therefore, she is going to be uh, buffed with a specific passive. And if you happen to put Emma with battery, there's this waterproof. The gold Fate core passive or special passive for battery increases attack of allies equipped with past team Fate core by 10%. Now, I remember that she has an orange fate core. So it's under this event's fate core theme, and we are just going to check. You can see Baelish over there. So, this is Emma's orange fate core Pledge of Happiness. Emma. Emma from a parallel world, born from a highly regarded noble family. After discovering the potential of the playboy Baelish, she proposed to him with a determination to make him a proper man. Oh, so it's a totally different story in the parallel world. You can see she looks like a bride here. And since this is an orange fate core, there will be no changes when it comes to the skills and even to the passive. It's just a costume. So this is Emma. She doesn't have any exclusive equipment, but she's wearing this wedding gown. So probably she and Baelish got married. And for the skill preview. So it has a white color and you can see some petals for the normal attack. And for the first skill, the animation is just the same. But the effects are quite different. So for the Black Fate Core, under the Forgotten Memory, the effects are more of the golden color or yellow. More like a light element effect. But when it comes to this Orange Fate Core, the color is totally white. So probably it suits the occasion because this is a wedding. If you disrupt the wedding, I'll stop it. That's really nice. There's still hands, but this time it's color white with some purple. It's really nice. 
and you can hear her voice. She sounds really younger compared to the Black Fate Core and the Fated version. So that's the Orange Fate Core of Emma. And this is not for free. If you want to get this, you really need to purchase this using real money. Or the Blue Crystals. And I think that's the only Orange Fate Core she has currently. Yep. So those are the two Fate Cores of Emma. Now we are going to the Manage Heroes button. <laughs> Is this all you've got? I'm just looking for my Emma. When I started playing the game, I I got Emma and I happened to use her for quite some time until I got a different character. And they used to say that Emma is not that really powerful. Oh, okay, so I have her warriors. here. And as you can see, I was able to fusion her Fate Core by two or twice already. And for the exclusive equipment, I don't have it yet. And when it comes to artifact, I didn't equip any because I'm not using her. But she, since she's a support type hero, you can choose among the following. So there's Living, Melody, Biryong. This has a chance to reset turn for a random ally up after, up, I mean, upon receiving damage one time per round. I don't know what's wrong with me today. It seems that I cannot read properly. And the other one is Heavenly, Harmony, Harbon. Chances to grant 1 mana to ally with the highest attack at the start of battle and when an ally is resurrected, heals 1 ally with the highest attack among the targets by 10% of own max health and grants 1 mana to the target and self 1 time per round. So I'm quite not sure if this works for super type heroes who can resurrect but I'm not really that 100% sure but I think it really goes well with those support type characters that can resurrect or revive characters. And since uh, Emma doesn't have that skill, so I think that doesn't work for her. Or probably that could work if, let's say, someone can revive. So that will still work with the ally with the highest attack, I think. And then there's this Dimensional Herb Linen. Chance to cleanse one debuff from back row allies and grant immunity for 5 turns if an ally afflicts a status effect such as Stun, Modification, Sleep. And then you got the gold ones church of purity helena chance to cleanse the buff from one ally at the start of own turn then there's also this wild wave alan chance to heal 14 percent of own max health upon receiving damage 14 percent of own max health and i think if you happen to have this particular fate core well this is the only one the black fate core there's this passive old wounds deals extra damage equal to 30% of own current health so therefore definitely for sure <laughs> we are going to equip her with gears that has a lot of HP so aside from those you can choose also the purple ones increases own attack speed by 30 when ally receive damage stacks up to three times and then there's this one chance to afflict one random damage target with nullify buff for 4 turns then there's this one chance to afflict attacker with silence this is also good and there's this one pride of great thief golden monkey chance to cleanse all the buffs from one random ally when attacking so those are the possible artifacts that we can equip on her and when it comes to equipment I just put some random gears here but for sure, since she is a uh, support type hero, I am planning to put Vitality Set on her. So it's up to you. You can go for Dash Set, Vitality Set. Vitality Set increases her HP, so I want to do that in case I'm going to use her in the future. Because we are going to make use of her old wounds. So the higher the HP, she's going to deal extra damage. Aside from 
Vitality said you can go for Fortification said that will increase her defense since she is up front. And you can also go for Resistance said if you like because uh, Resistance said helps your character um, uh, to prevent them from getting status effect attacks such as Silence, Burn, uh, what else? Uh, silence, Burn, Sleep, Modification, and stuff like that. So here, I just equip dash set, I don't know why. Again, this is just random. And if you're going for this one, for dash set, le uh, let, let's just say you're going to choose dash set. The main stat should be HP in percent. And currently I have here critical hit rate, so this is not right. And when it comes to the sub stats, you can go for defense, HP, effect resist, speed. And this is totally bad. You can see defense is in whole number, attack and HP is also in whole number, while effect resist is in percent. When it comes to the accessory, you can see here effect hit. Well, if you're going to check out her skill, there is a debuffing skill, 80% chance to decrease hit of target by 45%, but I think uh, we can go for HP still because we want her to be tanky and when it comes to the substat there you go again you can see defense critical damage defense again in percent and critical hit rate so if you ask me i will definitely prefer to use tanky stats such as hp defense effect resist and some attack speed will do and for the boots this is totally wrong again it should be attack speed or probably more hp same goes for the substats so again, you can go for defense, I mean fortification set for defense, vitality set for HP, effect resist set or resistance set for effect resist. And if you want to go for dash set, it's still okay. Gosh, <laughs> I'm sorry for the background noise. It's too noisy outside. It's such a busy street. Currently, it's lunchtime, so I'm pretty sure everyone is trying to eat lunch, probably go home. That's why the street is so busy. So, anyway, that's all for Emma. Also, guys, just a little story time. I was supposed to upload a video from a different game last two days ago. I happened to download a new game. Actually, I think it's a idle, it's an idle game, I think. I haven't explored the game too much because I happened to stream it for about an hour or so. So the problem is that I happened to, during the stream, I happened to say, oh, I'll be right back. I have to just go get something. And when I came back, instead of pressing the resume button, I happened to press the stop button, which really stopped the entire stream. So that's the first issue. So therefore, instead of one video, I have two videos now again <laughs> and for the second video as I was streaming the delivery guy suddenly called I have a delivery and the guy is already downstairs and I had to go down so you know a lot of disturbances happened and his number just popped up from the screen and I want to cover it up with a sticker so I told myself that definitely I need to start studying how to edit videos and i happen to download this editing video or video editing software and at first i thought it was really user friendly so you can either use it for free or you can purchase the entire software and get its you know the entire thing so i happened to just use it for free at that moment and what happened was when i I was able to merge two videos so I'm happy I was able to do that and then the second thing is I was able to cover the delivery or rider's phone number that, that pop out from the screen so that's good also but when I happen to save the video there's a window that prompt and saying that if I want to say oh wait I, I'm trying to remember what it says but it goes something like if I want to save this without a watermark, I have to purchase the software because if I'm going to save it using the free version, there's going to be a watermark on top of my video. So I said, 
Okay, what the heck, I'm just going to proceed. And when I check the downloaded video, there's this huge, huge watermark on top of my video. And I think it just covered almost half of my video or screen. So it was too bad and I decided not to upload it anymore. But instead, since there are two videos there, I just deleted it. <laughs> and I told myself that maybe since I was just using the game in guest mode, I can start all over and pretend that it never happened and probably I'm going to stream again that same game. Actually it's called Rent Please, it's a landlord sim and if I Come haven't on. told you yet Let's guys, I really love those cafe management thing kind of games or restaurant management games and even probably apartment sim games because it's kind of cool and it's also relaxing so that's my plan i'm going to stream it again start anew and since i already deleted the two videos which are really annoying and had a lot of disturbances so i think it's a good idea to start anew with that game so i'm not sure if i'm going to stream it probably tomorrow but currently i'm working on something and hopefully it is going to work because my partner happened to buy a mic for the PC, so I'm still checking things out and probably we are going to do something different. So that will be all guys for today. That's just a little update from me. <laughs> Don't know what's happening with me today. It seems that I cannot read straight. <laughs> I, op I often, uh, what do you call this? Stutter. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> it's probably a very tying, tiring day for me as well with work. So. Please do not forget to subscribe to my Twitch channel and also for my YouTube channel as well where you can see all of my other Exos Heroes content and other games as well. And again, if you have any suggestion, just do drop a comment in the comment section and I make sure I'm going to respond to it as soon as I can. This is Bear Gaming. Have a nice day everyone.